How is the Volkswagen 1.5T engine assembled? What parts need to be installed on the engine? Today, let us walk through the full assembly process of Volkswagen latest 1.5T engine. Making this video is not easy, so if you enjoy it, show some support. This transmission comes from the transmission plant. It is a DQ200 dual clutch transmission. The worker takes the parts list, stops the transfer cart, and places the list on the cart. The transmission is lifted and placed into the material box on the cart. One cart carries two transmissions, so another one is lifted and loaded. This is the Volkswagen 1.5T engine. The engine is lifted and placed into the material box on the cart. Just like the transmission, each cart also carries two engines. The parts list is checked to confirm the engine and transmission order, then the cart is released. A cart fully loaded with engines and transmissions really is a nice sight. After that it moves to the production line. Next to the line, the pallet support points are adjusted. A wireless controller is used to position the lifting tool. The tool is mounted to the engine lifting points, and the entire engine is lifted and placed onto the pallet. Even though the pallet only has three locating supports, the engine is very heavy, and it will not tip over during later assembly steps. The fist sheet is scanned and placed on the pallet. The transmission is lifted, and one bolt is installed on the upper right side of the transmission. The transmission is mounted to the flywheel side of the engine. An electric torque wrench is used to pre-tighten the bolt. The alternator is installed next. Two bolts are installed by hand to hold it in place. Two bolts are then installed at the transmission half-shaft connection area. A robotic arm with an electronic wrench tightens these two bolts. These bolts connect the transmission to the engine. Later, three more bolts will be tightened from the bottom for final fastening. The starter motor is installed on top of the transmission. Two screws are started by hand, then tightened with an electronic wrench. You might notice the bolts stick out quite a bit here. Why is that? Do they serve a special purpose? The fist sheet is scanned again, then the transmission QR code is scanned into the system. The used code label is discarded. The alternator wiring harness is organized and the clips are secured to the engine. A metal sleeve is installed into a threaded hole on the engine. Then the air conditioning compressor is mounted to the engine. Three bolts are pre-tightened with an electric torque wrench. Next, the two bolts on the alternator are pre-tightened. Two bolts are installed at the engine and transmission joint and pre-tightened. A custom torque wrench is then used to manually tighten the bolts at the engine and transmission joint. The specified torque is 80 newton meters. Three bolts are tightened by hand in total, and each one is marked after confirmation. This is the automatic robot tightening station. The robot first tightens the alternator bolts, then tightens the three bolts on the compressor. Automation like this reduces the number of workers needed. So what do you think is better, a fully automated line or a manual one? The compressor cools the cabin so that cold air in summer comes from this part. The alternator wiring connector is plugged into the engine. The harness is routed neatly, a cover is installed, and two bolts are tightened with an electric torque wrench. A ground wire is installed on the starter motor, a nut is added, and it is tightened with an electronic wrench. A large bracket is installed on top of the transmission. Three bolts are started by hand to position it. The full vehicle identification number label is then applied to the transmission mount unit. The starter motor wiring harness is installed, a nut is tightened with an electronic wrench, and a decorative cover is added. The three bolts on the large transmission bracket are pre-tightened with an electric torque wrench. This bracket will later connect to the vehicle body. The two wiring connectors on the compressor are plugged in. The belt tensioner is installed on the engine. Two bolts are pre-tightened with an electric torque wrench, then fully tightened with an electronic wrench. By the way, when you replace a belt, do you also replace the tensioner? Finally, the belt is installed on top and the small metal pin holding the tensioner is removed. At the next robot station, the robot tightens the three bolts on the transmission bracket. The fist sheet is collected and attached to the compressor. The engine is rotated, the lifting tool is lowered, and then reattached to the engine. The engine is lifted and transported to the next station for further assembly. The pallet supports are lowered, and the empty pallet rolls back to the first station, ready for the next vehicle. Follow along and next time I will show you how all the coolant hoses on the engine are installed.